continues to have a feast of sporting events in the early months of 2023. Benoni is home to badminton's All-Africa Senior Championships until this Sunday. It's a sport dominated by Asia, but the Badminton Confederation of Africa hopes plans to make an impact globally. ENCA's Hlonim Timkulu was in Benoni to find out just how the sport actually plans to grow. It's an event without the crowds seen at bigger venues, but that isn't hindering the intensity of the competition at Badminton's All-Africa Senior Championships. The competition is really fierce now. Um, you know, as 10 years ago, you know, you maybe had one or two countries, maybe three that could win it. Um, and now you've honestly, you've got, you know, five, five countries that, that could do it. Stuart Carson was part of South Africa's gold medal winning team at the African Champs and All Africa Games between 2002 and 2004. It's really popular in the rest of the world. You know, the more popular we can get it in South Africa and Africa, then the more people play, the more people play, the more money gets you know gets put into it, and then our players can can become you know semi-professional, um, and that's where we need to get you. But that that's a that's a process. It's also considered as one of the minor sports, so we're still struggling through to pull through the bigger sports, especially uh, soccer, football. Yeah, so it's 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 not very easy, but we keep pushing. Many here could have opted for potentially more lucrative sporting careers. Despite the struggle of economics, the same players want to bring in more participants to the sport. Even if you don't know what the sport is, it's very accessible. Like um, It's not expensive to start as well because there's a lot of development stuff that we have as well. So it's not like you need the specific type of shoes or rackets or whatever. Like We all have that available. So you basically just have to show up and, and do it from there. Besides growth on the continent, the Badminton Confederation of Africa's mission is to make sure athletes are competitive on the world stage. Africa managed to qualify players in all the five disciplines, which is a very big, big achievement considering that this uh, Olympics uh, is tough to qualify. Uh, it's very, very expensive because for you to qualify, you have to attend many, many tournaments and especially in Europe. So. In this program, we've identified players who have, uh, who are most like uh, a certain chance to qualify. While badminton competes for its place on Africa's sporting map, administrators hope to offer a safe, non-contact alternative. Shonin Timkulu, Binoni.